What's up guys, it's Mr. HD here, and we are back again, finally. Uh, I have like four of these to make today. Um, so before you go, oh, hey, you wear the same sweater all the time. Um, I have like a bunch of backed up footage from uh, from this style of series, which is if you guys are new here or don't know, I do competitive drifting on Forza. Ooh, um, and this is what I try to learn from my mistakes and um, show you guys that there is a competitive world out there. Even besides Outrun, if you guys don't want to watch my Outrun videos, you should check them out. Um, so this is my esports drift career, and this is the Super Street League versus Street. Oh, God damn it, these names. Super Street League, which is SSL versus Street Style Reborn, which is SSR. So I participate in SSR um, because I was high enough in points. They're like, hey, do you want to come run this series? It's a top 16 or 17, I think people qualified. And I was like, cool, different qualifying system. And this track is super fun. I can't wait to show it to you. Um, so I'm just going to go over my qualifying runs really fast. I'll be honest because this, this happened March 2nd and this video is being recorded March 24th. So I don't have access to the scores anymore, but I do know what place I qualified and whatever. Um, and this, I believe this year, because I'm going to be running this series in the future. So if you guys want more information on qualifying and stuff, I can give it to you next time. Um, what sets this series apart for qualifying is it's more like D1. So like most, most scores are in the 90s. The, the worst scores are like low 90s and 80s. So uh, that's about it. And uh, I'll show you guys the video and then we'll go through it basically. And I'll point out what I did right and what I did wrong. Um, I'm just gonna go through it real real quick I think I'm just gonna show you my best qualifying runs out of both just in, this, in the essence of time and every video after this is not gonna have this big explanation because I haven't made one of these in a while so I want to explain it to maybe some new people that are here um, that I haven't seen yet so yeah this is my first run or this is my qualifying run So, into turn one here, I, because I'm stupid, I forgot to record the, the build up or the run up. So basically you start near this wall and you're allowed to use all the track to initiate. So uh, in the rules, you're not supposed to have cars like side by side like that. So I'm in an RB S14. Um, this is what car felt most comfortable to me in the rule set. The rule set was like stock tires, I think 265 width and then no over, over 400 horsepower. I think the car weight had to be 2,600 pounds, something like that. So let's go into here. First clip is that wall. I did a pretty good job there. Uh, you could take out the sign if you want to, but I actually thought it was a good, uh, it was a good uh, I, like point for me to focus on, so I left it there. So entry there. You're supposed to come out to these tires. I didn't really get out that wide up until the end of the corner. You can kind of see me like jamming the brake just to get out there. End up booping them a little bit. No big deal. Next clip is this yellow line right here. So I did a good job there. Obviously, next clip is the wall, and I ran this wall better than I have ever. I, like in any practice, in my other qualifying run, just absolute miracle on the wall there. And I got on the gas at the right time. Inner clip here, you're supposed to stay on this Sonoma or this, uh, I forget what company this is. I know it's like the people that own basically all the NASCAR tracks in the US, but uh, I don't quite remember what the company called, but you're supposed to stay on the inside of that. I go a little bit wide, end up wrapping it around. If you cross this line too far, it's a zero. So I just get by that with the skin of my teeth. Get another outside zone here. Missed that by a little bit. Outside zone right here. I was like one of the only people hitting this zone right. So that did well for me in qualifying. And then inner zone here, you no know, rumble allowed. And then they want you to bring it out for a wall tap if you can, which I pretty well nailed. Um, lucky for me, next time I'll grab um, the VOD from the series because they judge live. So they point out what they did right, what they did wrong. But lucky for me, again, I don't really have the scores, but I did come eighth overall out of 17. So that was pretty good. Um, this is my f second event on a wheel. My first event on a wheel was uh, TSC's uh, comp at Silverstone, but it went so poorly that I didn't even bother uh, recording it. I it was on Silverstone. That's an easy track, and I just did terrible. Like, I over-rotated and just... Uh, it wasn't worth watching, just watching me get demolished. So, it was me versus iTandem Inc. Inc. is arguably, I think, one of the top eight guys in the game. ESDA Pro. Uh, and we'll have my ESDA runs, by the way, coming. Those will be fun. 
no <laughs> so i'm kind of nervous we're in the same car he's driving a vq um or a v6 i don't know what or vh or whatever i don't know what it's called i know it's the 370z motor uh or engine so that's what he's driving and i'm just kind of hoping that i do okay i figure i'm gonna lose i just want to do the best i can uh i lead first and uh, this is what happened All right, so I enter a bit differently. You'll see when ink enters. Uh, a lot of people do a big, like, slow, faint entry. My goal is just to carry as much speed into that first corner as possible. So I slowly start transferring over, do a little e-brake drag on this wall. Um, I got lucky because I don't think that's how ink enters, but we were practicing together, so he kind of had the gist of it. I actually did a really good job of getting out to this outer zone. So good that I hit the wall. <laughs> um, but a lot of people weren't getting out that wide, so I killed a little bit of speed there. Let ink, uh, let's ink get really close to me. He's really, really good when it comes to proximity. I uh, hit that outer line great. I'm actually, other than the little wall bump, I think I'm doing really good here in the lead. Big entry here. I'm almost 90 coming into the into the little horseshoe he's got to scrub a lot of angle to keep up with me uh i actually hit this probably about as well as i ever have and here's the part where i'm really proud of i don't know what he did wrong but i just start to pull away and inks fast i hit that zone right he has to cut that to make up some ground uh hit some curve i genuinely am in an advantage here Against, again, what I think, again, it's, it's it's like specific rule sets. I don't really count this as like, oh my god, I'm one up on one of the best guys in the game. But um, I held my own. I held my own, and that's all I'm really proud of. Uh, I didn't really know this at the time. I don't, ha I don't have a spotter or anything. Anyone helped me out. So I'm just like, I got to send it in my follow run too because it's ink. Um, he probably was like on me the whole time. So uh, knowing that, here's my second one. Right, ladies and germs like i said we're gonna come off the feature roll here this should i show you the, uh, the track a little bit that's how everyone else was really entering i didn't really feel like doing that i wasn't losing points for not doing that or it wasn't as you know i felt like the risk for me personally i think i was still on higher rotation at the time i think i was still on like 540 or 720 sorry um and i just really wasn't feeling comfortable running that so i was like nope um so i enter about where i'm used to maybe kill some speed so i don't run him over because i will be coming in faster but he just shallows out and like is way inside i ended up giving him a little boop but that sends him back out to where he's supposed to be so at this point i'm like holy shit holy shit it's anyone's game i might be able to take this runs the wall he starts taking off because it's ink that's what he does i have to cut a little bit shallow try to gain some ground um i think i was a little bit closer to the clip than he was but whatever not relevant obviously you know that now he runs it almost to the wall the big angle i run it to the wall and because i'm stupid um and i'm still i'm still new to the wheel uh, at this point this was like i don't know maybe a week or two into me starting like to really uh, force myself to use it i went from third to second and pulled the e-brake which i have a button mapped to my shifter and i had this habit when i i don't really do it much anymore but i had this habit when i started out for when i would let off the clutch before letting off the e-brake so what you see here is me letting off the clutch before letting off the e-brake the car stalls and it sucks, man, and it really sucks, but, like, I came out of this feeling so great because, like, if it wasn't for that mistake, I would have won. Uh, obviously, a lot can happen, but he goes really wide into the danger zone out, out there. Um, so, if it wasn't for that, I mean, this second half of the run, I'm just like, oh, my God, what an idiot, what an idiot. Um, I think, I, you know, our judges, even Ink was like, yo, you, you had me. Like, 
it just sucks um really what what the wheel is now is uh the first like 20 percent is just like learning how to do it and then the other 80 percent is like all right so how do i do this every run every time and i think that separates like the men from the boys and separates the 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 top tier uh drivers from the guys like me who are just getting on the wheel and trying to to break into that uh that upper group so expect a lot more of these videos because i'm trying to run as many tournaments and as many competitions as i can um just to get more experience um it's basically learning drifting all over again for me um it's really fun it's very frustrating but it's really fun um as you guys will see in the next upcoming videos it's not always there's not always a silver lining here i was like it's my really my first comp uh, that i practiced for and i really tried and uh, i almost beat the guy that ended up win going to win the whole thing so thank you very much for super street league um i in the future will ask permission that i can share their information and their discords and stuff if you guys want to participate but uh, for right now i think it's like invite only i'm not quite sure so i'll have to go ahead and ask uh the staff of super street league that but thank you guys very much for watching expect another one of these tomorrow because i'm just going to bulk record like all of them uh i will look sadder and sadder as they go but thank you very much guys i'll see you the next time take care peace